B.B. King is getting the biopic. And for y'all new school folks that follow us that don't know nothing about this legend, take a look at this. He died a couple of years ago, so it's somewhat sad. But this will give you context as to the gravity of the man, B.B. King. It's hard to imagine the blues without B.B. King. The legendary blues man released over 50 albums with hit songs such as The Thrill Is Gone and Let The Good Times Roll. Born Riley B. King in Mississippi, he worked as a tractor driver in the cotton fields before embarking on his musical career. He began recording in the 1940s and became known as Blues Boy King, and then more simply, B.B. King. In 1956, at the height of his popularity, he played an astonishing 342 one-night stands. He continued a rigorous touring schedule into his 80s. King's persistence and passion for the blues paid off, winning 15 Grammys. It always feels very, very good to go on stage, whether you win a Grammy or not. Throughout the years, King worked with various artists like Rockers U2 on the song When Love Comes to Town and with Eric Clapton on the album Riding with the King. I get a chance to learn a lot of great things from people that have so much going for him today. In 1987, he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and was also given a spot on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1990. He was rarely seen without his faithful black lacquered Gibson guitar, Lucille. This is my girl, Lucille. The gifted guitarist became the first blues musician to be honored with the Kennedy Lifetime Achievement Award in 1995. President George W. Bush also honored King in 2006 with the Presidential Medal of Freedom for his musical contributions. Been around a long time, a long, long time. King's health was sometimes a concern since he was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes in his early 60s. To me, blues is a type of music that's like a tonic. It's good for whatever ails you. In 2012, President Obama hosted a concert celebrating blues music. B.B. King was one of the featured performers. The king of the blues. Mr. Baby King. You only live once when you dead, you die. Let the good times roll. With a career spanning over 50 years, B.B. King let the good times roll. Good times roll. Good times roll. Good times roll. Well, I don't know what happened to Lamont. I think he dipped out on us, so I guess I'm taking no, over the no, show. No, oh, no, 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 ladies and gentlemen, there will, there will be no solo projects with Larry. <laughs> now, as I was saying before, Larry tried to take over the, the show. They're going to be doing a BB King biopic. And the brother that they get into play was a brother who completely embarrassed short, fat, dark skinned brothers. But he can act. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. Can he embarrass y'all? Wendell Pierce. Hard. He just trying to get it in. No, man. Now, for those of you that remember Wendell Pierce, he was the dude in Waiting to Exhale that got to smash Layla Rashawn. First, he was fat, short, dark skin, and she said his penis was little. She had to squeeze her vagina, and then he only lasted 30 seconds. They put every <laughs> trope in that thing, but you know what? <laughs> that was acting. And me and Biggie took being short, fat, and black to a different level back when I was real heavy. So we ain't even sweating that no more. But this brother can act his butt off. He's been in, um, what was the one you said? he um, um, Damn it. The Baltimore show, Larry? The Wire. The Wire. He's, uh -huh. on, he's on a show right now with um, John Krasinski on Amazon. I don't know if he can sing or not. Oh, he's on that. The, he's on the Tom Clancy joint. Yes, yes, yes. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. So my question to you is, Larry, can Wendell Pierce pull off BB King? That's a good question. I mean, I don't know what they're gonna do. I mean, they yeah, because he the Duke can act. It's just a matter if he can sing or not. But right. hey. you know, so we'll just we'll have to we'll have to see how it goes down. I mean. You know, I I don't think that what's his name could sing. Um, I don't think T'Challa could sing, but he's able to play 
James Brown. That's so, true. That's true. Oh man, Tricia C said they could have got um David Mann. Yeah, yeah, but I, I don't think he's as good of a good of an actor as Wendell Pierce. Wendell Pierce is like he's been up for Academy Awards. The brother can act his butt off. They could have got Winston Duke to do it too. Oh, can he sing though? I don't know. Yeah, you could have. You could have. But got he has the look. Duke. Yeah, he does have the look, and um, I think that might be what they're going for. But we'll see. I mean, you've got the T Pain box out there nowadays. You can lip sing. You can do covers. Um, yeah. So I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. But you know, hey, I wish the brother well. We'll see what he can do. Yeah, I think I think it's gonna be a I think it's gonna be a lip syncing situation. I think we've gotten used to some of these some of these um, situations where with black folks we always have to be better than everybody else and be multi talented. So I think we've gotten used yeah. to seeing these actors that can sing and can act and dance mm -hmm. and everything else. And so when you have someone like like Jamie Foxx who comes out and yeah. plays Ray and wins an Oscar, I mean the dude could sing. Yeah. And he can act, and, and so and he's a comedian, and he's a comedian. So I mean, you know, we get spoiled, and we get spoiled, and sometimes so just to have an actor act sometimes no. feels like, well, can he pull off the role? But I mean, there's you know, for so many other movies, when people need to play a singer, they just have someone else do the singing part of it, and then they just have the actor lip sync it. It's not, I mean, it's not like it's a big deal. They just, you know, they've been doing it for a long time. I just feel like maybe black folks hasn't haven't always done it because they didn't need them. They didn't need them to. They always had such great multi-talented people. So and, le and let know. me tell you something. Jamie Foxx in his heyday when he did Ray, like uh, I guess that was like the late 2010, right around there. I went to see his ass in concert. Let me tell you something. This brother did an hour of comedy, he did an hour of doing Ray. He did an hour of playing the piano. Then he finished with singing. I ain't say singing. I said singing. <laughs> I, I mean, that was one of the best concerts I had ever been to because you got three different entertainment venues from one guy, and it was very cool. So I enjoyed that. Yeah. And he brought Tank with him. That was his homeboy back in those days. All right. So that's Chris, uh, Miss Chris the Miss says if Anthony Anderson hadn't lost all that weight, he could he could do it. If Anthony Anderson hadn't lost all that weight, he probably wouldn't be here with us today. You know? Yeah. He, 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 he and, lose that weight to stay. And, so we can keep on laughing at his jokes, man. Yeah. Cause dude, dude was, he was big for a minute. Do you know? He, need, he, he was one who definitely fit the profile of needing to have um, gastric bypass. The only yeah. thing I wish he would do now is lift a little bit of weights, man. Don't, just because you lost the weight don't mean you look good taking your shirt off every five minutes on blackish, bro. Lift the little <laughs> weights, then take your shirt off and stuff, bro. But, I mean, I'm happy that he's healthier. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that he's healthier. And and Tricia C said Ruben stuttered. I would rather see Ruben play Luther Vandross. That's what I want to see. I want to see Ruben play yeah. Big Luther because they both have a similar voice. So that's yeah. what I want to see. Ruben Stutter do play Big Luther, and y'all know what, what happened with Rob, with Ruben Stutter. Where's he been at? Man, he 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 got around the wrong people in terms mm. of writers and people helping him do his music. He dropped the album, I think, um, either earlier this year or last year. It didn't do much. Mm. He, it he's just, work. yeah, he's just not been around the right people to help promote his career properly. Because I mm. mean, the brother can sing. I mean, he can right. sing. And yeah. it ain't no reason why he shouldn't be doing anything right now. He can sing. Right. Yeah, man. Yeah. Well. So, yeah, we'll see.